Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us today offer special intention in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus during this Holy Mass. Let us make reparation as Jesus asked uh, during this Mass, during this day, for all sins against his Sacred Heart, to offer prayers, adoration, reparation for all ingratitude against towards the heart of our Lord. There is a very efficacious prayer that we can do. I may suggest you a prayer to say, which was very dear to St. Pio of Pietrelcina. This is a novena to the sacred heart of Jesus, that Padre Pio used to pray every day for all people who asked for his prayers. You might have come already across this prayer made by three sets of invocations to the most sacred heart of Jesus while asking for a particular grace and it is uh, the prayer ends with a final uh, oratio to the sacred heart of Jesus. I may read you these three uh, prayers in honor of the sacred heart which also give us the very understanding of our devotion to the Sacred Heart, especially during this first Friday consecrated to Jesus. The first prayer says this, O oh my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, ask and it will be given you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and ask for the grace. And you say, the grace you need. And then, the Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be are recited, and the invocation, Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. And there is the second invocation. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I ask the Father for the grace. Normally, when we ask for a grace, we think of our own needs, which is good, which is uh, important. But what about asking, especially on this special day, for the grace to be a consoler for the heart of Jesus, to ask for the grace to do something for Jesus. Jesus, enable me to be able to offer prayers and to make a sacrifice for you, to repair all sins against you, committed against you, especially those horrible sins against the most holy Eucharist. People, for example, receiving Holy Communion in a state of mortal sin, or people being completely unaware of Jesus present in the most holy Eucharist in the tabernacle. Let us also try to, to ask for this particular grace. Finally, the third invocation. O oh my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for grace of, and then the grace is said. The final invocation to the most sacred heart of Jesus, which collects all these three prayers and intentions, goes this way. O sacred heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners, 
and grant us the grace which we ask of you through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Then you say, final hail, Holy Queen, adding also Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, pray for us. As I said, Padre Pio was very devoted to the most sacred heart of Jesus, and he said this prayer every day. A prayer which is of love to Jesus and uh, also a prayer to seek for a greater love to his most sacred heart. We pray to Padre Pio today to give us a little bit of his love for the most sacred heart of Jesus and especially to give us this understanding of being uh, little co-redeemers as he did during his life. Fifty years with his stigmata, uh, just uh, suffering with Jesus. And uh, he did so in order to repair all sins uh, against Jesus and to uh, work out the salvation of many souls who went to see him. Let us ask for this grace to be little cooperators with Jesus to save as many souls as possible. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy 